match from a Dubin standpoint. Peyton Hall and Isaac Olenek. Hall, a three-time NCAA qualifier, an All-American two years ago out of Chester, West Virginia. Had six wins last year versus ranked opponents, and he's got a pin against the number 13th ranked wrestler, Caleb Fish from Michigan State. Did that at Midlands when he won runner-up at Midlands earlier this year. And again, Olenek has beaten a ranked opponent in eight of his 16 wins. We asked John Smith, is it gonna be a challenge for him to take on two ranked guys in three days? He's like, no, he's done that all season. He beat a number of ranked guys in the same day at Cliff Keen earlier this year. Well, to say it's not gonna be a challenge is probably not <laughs> the most accurate thing, but is it that it's a challenge that he's used to, right? He's, it's not like he's never done that before. He's not a novice to the experience. Correct. Olenek's win on Friday against number 18, Holden Heller, out of Pitt. Hall, a major decision winner last weekend against Columbia. Quick shot for Hall. Hall had some struggles earlier in the season. Actually got pinned here at the Coliseum against Duke in November. Tim Flynn said he went back and watched some film of when he had some success in the past. Have you seen a different guy in the last couple months? Well, you know, sometimes you get into some small and bad habits, right? And and went back and sort of rededicated himself to making sure he was taking care of these little details that are the difference between whether you give a point up or whether you whether you score one. And, and he's been capitalizing on that much more since that time. Still looking for our first points between Peyton Hall and Isaac Olenek. Olenek, a two-time MAC champion at Northern Illinois before transferring before this season. Joining returning All-Americans, Deaton Fix and Dustin Plott, who we'll see in just a few minutes. So, oh, what do we get called? I was going to say, you know, Peyton Hall's head here has been moving around. There's, there's a, We're going to get a, a caution point. A technical violation, I think, for, for Hall against gear. Olenek, yeah. He's grabbing his headgear. Tim Flint came off the bench like, what's he doing? And now John Smith protesting that call. Well, you know, they're both sort of collar tie with a hand around the neck and pulling forward. The question is whether you reach over and you... When you start to see the headgear slide sideways, it gives you a little indicator that it might have a, been a little extra leverage on the grabbing the headgear, but sure. But in some ways, you could, you could call that like 400 times in a match, I guess. And which is why John Smith was a little like, what? <laughs> like holding in football. Yeah, pretty much. Or the obligatory block in the back during any kicking right, right. <laughs> here's the grab that it's hard to see here so yeah see see him his fingers hook the side of the headgear there so yeah that's yeah uh, using his headgear like a bowling ball basically and just yeah so yeah definitely in. so one nothing on the yeah, headgear okay. point for Peyton Hall and Holmick does a nice job of just get, yeah, just get to his feet, does a nice job of sealing Hall off and easy escape point for him. One of the keys of winning in college is don't spend a lot of time on the bottom. And he, down there for what, uh, 11 seconds. Mid-body shot for Hall. Olenek fights it off. Well, Olenek did a nice job of trying to drag Hall through, try to get to his corner, but Hall did a great, better, as well as good a job of reorienting himself and kind of shoved his shoulder into his into his rib cage there. Quick rebound for Hall after the missed shot. Well, especially these guys at this level, I mean, you're not going to get... The idea that you're going to get, like, just one thing. I, I get a great shot, and I get in a great spot. You're going to get a warning for stalling there. Just sort of on a, on a push-out, more or less. But 
I think just like in those other matches, these guys aren't going to give up points without, without you really working and scrambling. Oklahoma State in their first trip to the WVU Coliseum since 2019. I assume there was a COVID year or two that held problems there. A couple trips in a row for WVU to Stillwater. And there was that, yeah, that pandemic. That, well, there was one canceled in spring of 21. Hall has the leg, looking to sweep the second. He's got him to the nice, ground. Does a nice job sitting him down, but there's no takedown yet. The fans no want it. There's yet. the takedown. No He's got the, the three, maybe more. Peyton Hall, will he have enough time? Oh, yeah, they've already given it to him. He gets the three for the takedown, was looking for more, but ran out of time for that. But Peyton Hall has taken the lead late in the second period. So just a nice job. Gets in on the single look right away. Attacks, attacks, goes right at him. Doesn't spend any time on his knees. Nice job sitting him down. You see Olnick, though, that is a great job of countering that flexibility. He's Hall just working around the corner. That's where they gave him the takedown. And we've got a caution. He had the three points, and it looked like he was scrambling for more, but another five or ten seconds maybe in the period, and he's got it. So, what do we, we got a caution, we got a caution again, and that's called by the side judge over there, and that's his second caution. I'm not sh so Olnick, you know, when we talked about this with Coach Smith uh, when we had our interview with him, and, and about keeps, how do you guys... How do you guys get ready for people like they're just coming at you and coming at you? You've got a target. You're Oklahoma State. He keeps, said, and he keeps saying, blow the whistle. Right. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but yeah, he keeps saying that, right? Well, because this guy's getting called for a caution. Sure. Um, which is what every coach says. <laughs> it didn't <laughs> mean to cut guys, off no, point. I right. apologize. No, I'm just saying, it, Olnick is struggling a little bit here today, right? He wrestled a tough match on, on Friday night, 5-2 win. And again, he's had a great year, but I mean, people in this weight class especially are coming at you. There isn't any easy match. And so you have to be at your A game every single time. And you're off just slightly, and all of a sudden you find yourself down 4-1 going into the third period. Olenek, very negligible riding time, but that's not the way to get back into this match. He's going to have to cut Hall loose and try for the takedown or, or, turn, get him, him, or right? turn him and get him into the right. mat. Minute 20 left. Hall gets out of it. So his lead goes to 5 1 as the crowd right. erupts here at the Coliseum. But Olenek's not done. Oh, no. By no stretch of the imagination. So 5 1 is like being up by, uh, you know, two scores, right? It's basically. So. Hall He's slides in on that off. Single. And slides he, off the yeah. first shot, turns it around. You know, Hall does a heck of a thing with that, with his knee, especially when you're shooting on that right side. He's able to... The coaching staff of West Virginia says, to pull him back pull in, him. right? The hard part is when you go to put your feet forward to pull him back, then he grabs your ankle, and then you're in a scramble on the edge. But right now, time is going off the clock. Look There's at only Mike. 30 seconds left in the period. Look at Michael Wolfram in the top of the corner. He's just, a, he's just as much a coach as anybody else right now on the West Virginia sideline. What I'm a little surprised is that... Uh, is that the official allowed that to be on the on the edge like that for as long as it was? So Took a lot of time seconds, off the yeah. clock for Isaac Olin. Ow, geez, that just I just my my I don't have any ligaments, but every time I see him do that. <laughs> Twenty seconds. This Which is why be a bad hard. scramble to the end. Olin. Um, yeah, just a gets great up on the shrug, shoulder. Right. Great try to throw by. He, but he goes up a little high and he allows Peyton Hall to What's get the wizard in. What's Hall's move? Well, he's going to keep this wizard and just try to keep him tight. There's only five seconds left, even if he gives up the takedown here. Peyton Hall is going to get a home win against the number two ranked wrestler in the country. Oh, what a great match. I mean, Hall wrestled a heck of a match. Did a nice job of getting the one takedown that he needed in order to score. Win number 21, sweet for Peyton Hall.